Hey guys, I'm back uh, to do another tutorial. This is going to be um, for the video gallery and how to add and remove and manipulate the videos in your new site. I'll try to keep this one shorter. The uh, first one ran on pretty long. I tried to cover a lot of things. So I'm going to try to break it up. So let's get right on into it. So here we are at the Mod uh, Modex Manager login. I've got my credentials. I'll go ahead and log in. And then again, we've got a resource structure here with all the pages. I'm going to go ahead and expand everything down. I'm going to come on down here where it says Video Gallery. Now, this folder is actually the Video Gallery introduction page. And then each of these sub-pages is the individual albums, if you want to call them that. So let's go to the On the Bike. And here we are at the beginning first page uh, I'll just make a quick note here <clears throat> this title right here is what actually will show up on the menu system and this long title which we will fill out most of these or these for most of the pages as we go but this is also uh, this is part of the the uh, search engine optimization putting this long title in it also is what shows up in the tab up top when you're on that page It'll say your website, it'll say the title of the page right here, and then it will extend and say this long title. It usually extends past where you can actually read, but it's important for page structure for the search engines. And description is the same thing. In the description you don't see at all, that's, a, that's a, a coded section, and that's also for search engines. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Hide from menu. Publish just means it can be seen. If you save it and it's not published, you can't um, navigate to it. So we're going to come over here to our template variables. And if you look down the left here is our categories, right? Right here we're on middle column. And you can see here it says pick a banner image. And this is the center column heading for the page. You can rewrite this. I simplified it a bit. Right now we're going to concentrate on videos. So I click videos and now we're in the video gallery. You can see you got the add video button here. I have one video already in. It does not have a description uh, video, which is very handy. And it gives you this nice table to display it. So if I want to add a video, click on add video. Pops up this window here, and I have pre-built sections for you. Expand that down a bit. And they're pretty self-explanatory, so heading, description, and embed code. And if we go over and reference the page itself, let's go to the video gallery. That's your introduction page. And we're doing on the bike, which has one video. Now, I'm going to change this um, structure just a bit. You can see this video doesn't quite fit in here. Why don't we go ahead and take care of that first while we're right here. Let me close this back down. Now, if I wanted to do anything with a video that's already here, all you have to do is right click, you can edit it, you can duplicate it, or you can completely remove it. So we want to go and edit this one. This is the video of Dean Porter uh, being chased on the bike. So let's go to the YouTube channel where this video, this video came from. Here it is right here. Let's go ahead and open up that video on YouTube. And I will pause it. <clears throat> now I'm going to get the, the title right first. So I'll take your title right from here. I'll go back into the manager. I'll get that straight. There's your title. Let's go back. I don't think there's a description here yet. There's no description written. So I'm going to leave that blank for now. Or maybe I can find the other listing of that video. I know it's in two spots on here. And on this one, you do have a short description. So I'm just going to take, I'm not going to take the video from here because 
I want to embed it from the other channel, which looks like it's going to be the main channel used for these videos. So I'll take my description, paste it on in. Now these are just simple text boxes. All the code formatting is done behind the scenes, where this text drops in and how it displays on the page. So I've kept it extremely simple for you. Now we'll come down to here. Now that embed code was the wrong height. If you notice, my pre-built um, background holder here um, is too large for the video the way it is right now. So if you notice there's a note here, embed code, note, after pasting the code, change the height and width ma uh, manually to 250 by 190 respectively. You have to do that. And I'll show you why here in just a sec. But let's go ahead and do it. 250 wide, 190 high. Click done. Then don't forget you have to come up here and save because nothing I just did is actually saved onto the page until I do that right there. So if I come back over to the page, I'll click refresh. And there we are. And you can see the dimensions fit nicely inside of the holder. And you have your title and you have your description. And this title, this description will be pretty big. It'll actually come down and wrap around and push this divider line down. So it'll, pre, it'll format um, fluidly to whatever you put in here. So let's, let's try to add a new video here. Go back to add video. Let's go back to your main YouTube page. Now this is on the bike. So I'm going to put in the main video you have for the front end that gives basically the whole training facility um, oversight. I'm not sure if you're going to want this in this section or actually in the conditioning section. I'm going to also go get your description off of the main, your original YouTube account. It appears it's not on here. <clears throat> and I thought it was. Oh, there's more pages. There's more pages. There it is description out of here. I'm going to leave your email out of it. You don't want to get spams. You really don't want to post your email on your website directly like that. It's better to have them connect contact you through the contact form. Okay, so I got the description. I'll go back to the title. Don't need the YouTube. Just take this part. And just copy paste these in. Now we go back to the embed code. So in order to get the embed code, all you got to do is so I'm on the page, right? Come down here to the share button, click it. Then it will drop down this window right here, and you see it says embed. Click on embed, and it gives you the embed code. Now the reason you got to format it, format it manually, I'm going to go ahead and show you, is if I tried to manually uh, do a custom format here, it gives you these sizes you can pick from which even the smallest size is too big for our purposes. So you come down to custom, let's say you're like I said, 250 by 190. But the problem is that it's constraining proportions. And for some reason the proportions that it's constraining are wrong. It's not given the proper height for the width. Right now the proportion, you see it's the rectangle, but it's not super horizontal. If I put it in there as what's being generated here when I put in the 250 width, it would actually cut off the video right around this section. So you don't even need to worry about specifying custom. Default, it comes up just like that on the 560 by 315. Just copy that code. Go over here, paste it in your box. And come up here to width. Go 250 by 190. Over here, click done. And there's your new video added in the back end. Now when I click save, it'll save the page. Come back over here to uh, the web page, refresh it, 
and bam, there's your video. Now it adds it in in order as you as you put them in, top to bottom. So this is the one I just added, right? Now here's the really nifty thing about this video gallery customization. This table um, array here of your videos can be easily manipulated. I already showed you if you right click you can edit, you can duplicate, you can just completely remove it. Don't forget to save if you remove it because it, just because it disappears from here does not make it completely removed. And I'll give you the example. So like for the one I just added, if I right click, I say remove. Yes, it's gone, right? Only if I hit that save button. If I refresh the page, come back to template variables, videos, there it is. So this is the main video, so I'm going to assume that you want that one first, right? So what if they're in the wrong order? Well, real, real uh, quick and easy to do. All you got to do is drag it, click on it, hold it, drag it, pull it up on top, and it just swapped them. And you can pull and drag the order of any of these, no matter how many you get down the page. So it's very simple to reorder them. And if I click Save, I'll save the resource. I come back to the front end here. Now Helmet Cam's up top, right? Refresh, and bam, look at how much cams now on bottom. And as you add these, it'll put this divider border in between each, and it'll just continue right on down the page as far as you want to go. And of course, they can play them right here. There is an issue with Safari and YouTube at times, and I cannot maximize this video in this browser. But that is, there's nothing that can be done about that. I can show you the example back in Chrome. Go to Epic. Connection's a little slow because I'm making this tutorial. Let me go back to the video gallery. There we are. Go back to on the bike. There are still ways that they can maximize the photo, the image. They can right click on it and they can have options there. People that use Safari will know how to work around that. But just to show you the general usage. So they can you can play it right in this box. This is what pretty much everybody will see. Fast forward. You have the maximize button, or you can double click. Bring this to maximize. Bring it back on. And same with all the videos here. So, uh, not to draw this out, and keep it pretty short and sweet, that's how you add videos to your video gallery. I hope you're pleased with that. I have tried to simplify, simplify the customization as much as possible here. Um, thank goodness for this Midjex um, plugin. I am definitely going to be contributing something to the developer because this is an awesome plugin. And I'm so glad I took the time to learn how to use it because it's perfect for this situation. So I'm not sure which videos you want on in which of these sections. So I'm going to leave some of that up to you. And it will be good practice for you to come in here and add some videos and play with us. I hope you, this, you find this helpful. And I'll be making some more videos soon.